Hello friends, welcome back to Food for Thought. I hope you all had a wonderful spring break. We are jumping right back into things with another question from our plant scientist friend, Shaylin from second grade. Her question is, where does jam come from? Thank you for your question, love. So let's jump in and talk about jam. Jam making has been around for hundreds of years and people have been making jam forever because jamming is a type of preservation. To preserve something is to keep it in its original or existing state. An example of something we may want to preserve is a really old painting or an important document because we want to look at them forever. Food preservation is when you try to keep foods as fresh and yummy and safe as you can before they go bad and get moldy because foods like vegetables, fruits, meats, and dairy spoil very quickly. For example, strawberries, if left on the counter, will go bad in just two to three days, which is no bueno. Food spoils because bacteria and other microorganisms grow and grow the longer food sits out, and eventually it turns into mold and it turns brown. And to prevent this from happening, food preservation techniques were created to keep food fresher and safer to eat for years. This was really important back in the day when people had no refrigerators or big supermarkets, and they had to travel far or work their land to grow food, they had to put in a lot of work to get food, and if their food went bad, it wasn't easy to get more. So they started drying their food or adding salt or sugar to make their food last longer. Food preservation is still important today because sometimes we need to stock up on foods in case there's a natural disaster or in case we can't get to a grocery store every week or so to buy fresh produce. So we know where the process of jam making came from, but how is jam actually made? Just like bread, jam starts in the ground. Jam is typically made from fruits, which grow on plants, bushes, and trees. The fruits are grown by farmers, picked by field workers, and transported to big cooking facilities. The fruits are washed and chopped into little pieces, and then the fruits are mixed with another ingredient, which is sugar, and lots of it. The sugar in the recipe is what prevents bacteria from growing and prevents the fruit from getting moldy. It basically makes the fruit mixture unwelcoming for bacteria to grow on. A bit of water is added to the mixture and it's cooked for a while until the water starts to evaporate from the pot and the fruit pieces start to break down, leaving behind a thick fruit mixture. Sometimes pectin is added to the mixture and pectin is a natural substance that when heated turns really thick and gelatinous, kind of like jello. The pectin helps hold the fruit pieces together and it makes jams nice and thick. Sometimes acids like lemon juice or vinegar are added to help with pectin do its job, and it also adds a little bit of tartness to balance all of the sweetness from that sugar to make a yummy jam. After the jam is made, it is often sealed in jars with a vacuum seal, which is why you hear a pop when you open jars, and this airtight seal helps keep bacteria away so that your jam can last you years and years on the shelf. Before being turned into jam, the fruit may have only lasted a few days or weeks before spoiling, but after being turned into jam, the fruit jam can last for up to one to two years. You can make jam out of just about any fruit. Strawberry and grape are very popular jam flavors, but there's also blackberry, currant, apricot, cherry, peach, apple, plum, rhubarb, and even tomato jam, because yes, tomatoes are fruits. It's a pretty easy way to make sure you can enjoy your fruit for a long time. And it also tastes delicious on a piece of toast, bagel, or some Ritz crackers. So shout out to the people for discovering how to make jam years ago that we still use for food preservation today. That is all for Food for Thought. Thank you again, Shaylin, for being an inquirer and for asking the question, where does jam come from? Have a great day, everyone. I will see you back here next week for another Food for Thought. Bye.